Hi, so <clears throat> it is the night before the uh, surgery. I uh, had my pre-op exam uh, last week. Uh, you know, pre-op exam, they do the usual stuff, tell you not to take uh, blood thinners, you know, Tylenol, ibuprofen, stuff like that a week before the uh, surgery. Um, got a few more little specifics about the uh, surgery and what exactly they're going to do and what they're not going to do. Uh, the uh, doctor has uh, decided to do, in my particular case, uh, two of the three uh, procedures that we originally talked, with, talked about uh, between him, himself and myself. What that means is uh, as you know, if you watched my first video, uh, my issue with my right wrist, uh, he believes, is uh, a triang triangular fibrocartilage tear, or a TFCC tear, um, caused mainly due to uh, a combination of uh, my ulna being too long uh, and hitting the uh, other bone in my wrist. I believe it is the lunate, if I remember correctly. Uh, he actually showed me the x-rays this time, he hadn't uh, previously, and it was a actually very obvious, even to myself, even to an untrained professional, as far as radiology, I could clearly see that the uh, corner of the ulna was hitting the corner of the uh, lunate in the wrist, and it made sense as far as what he said, as far as the, uh, the uh, tear, you know, having to be there in order for the bones to hit each other. Kind of besides the point, I mean, I've already decided to have the surgery, obviously, if it's tomorrow. Um, but uh, he was just giving me a little bit more specifics. and um, So as far as the two out of the three uh, procedures, what I mean about that uh, is, if you recall my first video, uh, my uh, uh, wrist pain I thought was due to um, a ganglion cyst that I've had on and off for about 10 years. And uh, it turns out that it's probably not having anything to do with it. Um, and I asked him on this uh, visit to this pre-op exam, whether he was going to remove the ganglion cyst or not. Um, and he felt that uh, doing all three procedures, so the three proce procedures again would be uh, the ulnar shortening here, the arthroscopic uh, repair of the TFCC down inside here, uh, and then removing the cyst, which is right here. Uh, he felt that all three of them um, was probably too much uh, for my wrist at one time as far as uh, scar tissue and later mobility, it would be a little bit too much, especially since he felt the cyst probably had nothing to do with the uh, pain anyways. And, and I, I think he's probably right. I mean, most of my pain is on the right side, the ulna side. I do have some pain towards the center of my wrist, but really hard to say that's just radiating from the right side um, or not. So again, he's going to do the, uh, as far as he knows, something could change when he gets in the wrist, who knows, uh, you know, sometimes during surgery uh, things change, but his plan is to uh, again do the uh, uh, ulnar shortening procedure uh, and then uh, arthroscopically uh, investigating and uh, uh, repairing or debreeding the uh, TFCC cartilage in some way. Uh, he explained that uh, post surgery, uh, if that is in fact the, the two surgeries that he performs, because again things sometimes change during surgery, but if that's the way it goes, uh, I will uh, have uh, obviously some sort of soft cast, soft splint um, for exactly two weeks. My post-op appointment is uh, for exactly 14 days after the uh, surgery, and um, so tomorrow's the big day, I'm very nervous. Uh, to be honest, I've had some surgeries in the past. Uh, I've had a left sur uh, shoulder surgery about 10 years ago. That was arthroscopic. Um, I had uh, an, uh, an appendix removed uh, arthroscopically, or I think it's laparoscopically for that. Um, I had a surgery on my toe quite a few years ago as well, and some little minor things here and there. But for some reason, this one makes me really nervous. Um, I think the reason being is because me coming from uh, being a mechanic and mechanics work, work with uh, items such as screws and plates and we do cutting on occasion and things like that. 
And I know how rough it can be. Uh, of course, your body's a little bit different than an automobile, but in my mind, I've been doing it a very long time, uh, that just seems like pretty rough to, uh, uh, again, to cut your ulna in half, shorten it, and put plates and screws in. Uh, just makes me really nervous. Um, uh, it's uh, <clears throat> got me pretty anxious. Uh, everyone's reassured me that everything will be fine, but uh, it just sounds uh, very painful. Uh, screws in your bone are probably usually not a very unpainful thing. So anyways, um, we will see how it goes uh, tomorrow. Uh, surgery is scheduled for 11. I'm supposed to be there at uh, 9.30. And uh, hopefully I will be able to uh, make a video of uh, tomorrow night post-surgery. Who knows? We'll see if I'm too uh, out of it or maybe there's too much pain or if I'm too tired or who knows what. Uh, that may not happen. But anyways, I'll... I'll do my best to uh, make uh, some sort of uh, documentation, even if it's very short or uh, even drug-induced. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, wish me luck. Thank you.